Greetings one and all, this is Works, and welcome to my channel with a, let's say, a facepalm video. But first of all, as you can see, man, Destiny 2, I am on it like crack, like white on rice. I'm on it, I'm enjoying it, I'm loving it. And um, one of my glorious ballbacks clan members have sent me a diary of events. Here it is, looking really good right now. I can't wait to get into that, man. But um, yeah, as you know, I play Destiny, play Destiny 1, played around 2,000 hours of Destiny 1. It's going to be equal with this game, you know what I mean? I've pre-ordered uh, Call of Duty World War 2, you know, and that to me is going to be, I don't know, just a killing time kind of game, I guess. But um, paid £80 for it though, man. Paid £80 for it. You know, I should have held my corner, but at the same time, you know, my, my, my brethren are going to be playing on it as well, and it's going to be great and what have you. I'm not regretting the purchase, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I could have just held up a little bit, but hey, that's how it goes. That's how it goes, man. But, um, yeah, this is a facepalm video, and um, just a couple of things that's been on my head, um, been in my mind. And one of the things I've kind of witnessed it this very morning, um, the time is, I think it's yeah, nearly five to nine on a Tuesday morning I decided to make the video before I get some work done and a um, couple of things first of all and this is something that I'm noticing people doing on TV in the media you know especially in interviews and I don't know about anybody else but it really irks me when I see it being done now the thing I'm about to mention has been done by eminently qualified people in their profession you know highly educated people right but i don't know why they do it now for me i am a writer i write songs i perform songs i play instruments and bloody bloody blah, blah, blah i produce music so the crux of all of that is basically the song and the writing of the song so i'm a lyricist you know more than likely more than anything else you know because i have to basically write songs to put the shit together you get what i'm saying so i use the english language very very often in terms of my craft and i write for a living i string words together for a living okay now what i don't understand is when people are being interviewed on tv on the radio where they have to answer a question the first word that comes out of their mouth is all right let me give, let me give you the full example okay so please tell me mathematician john doe why is it that seven times seven equals 49 and they answer so when you get into blah 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 and blah blah why are you using the word so why are you using the word so to answer a question when you've never uttered a sentence before using that word i don't get it i don't understand it i'm just old school you know back in the day when you use the word so you know nowadays people use the word so because they can't finish the sentence that's what i'm noticing you know so and they're expecting the other person who's just interviewed them to jump in and interject that's the lazy use of the word so but now people are using it to begin the sentence when they've been asked a question and i don't get it i don't get it why are you using the word so it doesn't freaking make sense to use that word in the beginning of a sentence especially when you're answering a question you know it's like what is it why is one why does one on one make two well, the reason why one and one makes two is pretty obvious. You don't answer it. So when you really check it and see what one and one makes, you have to come to the conclusion that it makes two. Oh, what the fuck? I don't know about anybody else, but it just irks me when I hear that, when I hear people saying the word so to answer a question. I don't know where the fuck it comes from, but it needs to be left where it fucking was. You know what I'm saying? Use the English language. I, listen, I don't mind slang. Slang is cool. Slang is cool for me. It's all good for me. Used in the right context, in the right way, slang is good. I don't, you know, I'm a colloquially Caribbean kind of guy. Do you know what I'm saying? There's plenty of slang, you know, in my culture. You get what I'm saying? And some of these youths who talk about 
butters and this and that think they invented the freaking language no it's us it's us old school dinosaurs man that basically help construct the language that you are now basically just making a hybrid of your own thing and our thing you get what i'm saying so you know slang is cool slang is cool but when you're answering a question that has been asked in the fucking right way answer the question in the right way man don't use the word so so punctuates a freaking sentence man you understand <laughs> the words coming out of my mouth <laughs> just ask me really does anyway um second up why are people getting into a tiz about a certain youtuber who's the biggest youtuber on the planet using the n-word why 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 makes no fucking sense at the end of the day if he's basically using the n-word and everybody's getting caught up in a tiz over it he's doing exactly what you want what he wants you to do basically and even me by my very own action is doing exactly what he wants me to do even though i don't subscribe to him even though i don't really have no interest in his channel but the reason why i'm asking the question is simply this it's funny how people get offended when the n-word is used by white people right that offends me don't get me wrong it offends me but what offends me even more is when black people use that word as well and they want to try and tell me that it's a term of endearment kiss my ass with that shit man kiss my ass with that shit you know that's not a term of endearment for me that's not no fucking reverse psychology bullshit that's going to work in my house sorry it's just not going to work i'm just old school you know what i'm saying at the end of the day racism is not going to die off racism will continue to exist right it's not the people that will call you the n-word or call out the n-word straight out that you've got to be wary of it's the people that don't and have the n-word in their head and it's not just white people coming out with it either you get what i'm saying it's not just white people thinking that either so when people talk about this particular youtuber and they want to go up in arms yeah it's it's bad mind it's bad mind why they're basically doing it it's it's a reason that they have to basically go ape shit over the thing but the bottom line stands at, at this right i don't think there's somebody chopping lawn outside there so if you hear that if you hear a noise is some gardening workers out there so i apologize so my point is at the end of the day is that why go into a tiz when a white person is going on YouTube and uttering the N-word when we're basically going on street corners as black people, right? Calling each other the N-word every freaking day. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, you got to start at home, man. You got to clean up your own freaking yard before you start trying to clean out other people's houses. You get what I'm saying? That's all I'm trying to say about that whole situation. You know, it's just a common sense logical thing for me if you're offended by the word the n-word we all need to stop freaking using it and i'm talking about black people too you know what i'm saying but anyway that's more or less it i just wanted to just do this video to get this stuff off my chest because if it stays in my chest and stays in my head somebody could just basically just say the wrong thing and i could end up shanking them no i'm only kidding <laughs> I'm only kidding. No. <laughs> but for me, word is wind, blow is unkind. That means you can call me any name under the sun. But if you put your hands on me, man, I'm shanking your bamba class. Simple as that. That's what I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say. Word is wind, blow is unkind. So if a person's calling that the N-word, yeah, it's it's an offensive word. Right? But if it's only a, a certain group of people that's calling other people that word, I understand that too. But when the people who are basically subjected to that abuse is calling each other of the same race the same word, then you ain't got no fucking argument with me. You got no argument with me because that argument don't hold no fucking water. It's a colander and a sieve of bullshit. But anyway, I've got to basically bounce because if I stay on this tip, I'm just going to 
I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, Destiny 2, I'm loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. I just want to try and get some work done so I can just do more live streams with this game. I'm absolutely enjoying it. It's the first game I've actually live streamed on a regular since it's come out. And I'm just loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. And for those who are on the fence, you know, even even my brethren on my PSN network, try it out, man. Just try the vanilla game if it doesn't work for you. Can you hear that? Listen, I gotta stop before he basically wants to freaking try and cut my beard. Anyway, until such time, people, please, thanks for watching, thanks for stopping by, and as always, you done know the crew, cool, whatever the game, media, platform, format, genre, happy gaming, because what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brothers and sisters, and until I catch you on the next one, please, gamers, stay blessed. Magan.